This is it. This is the final uh, game and the final recording session for NHL 23. This is it. Uh, this may not be the last game on the team schedule as we have a game against Montreal coming up and then I think it's another game after that. But this is a guaranteed start and that's why we're playing this. We're going to be going to the nation's capital, America's capital in Washington, D.C. to play the Capitals, of course. And this is just going to be a nice, easygoing game. And just to wrap up this Be A Pro series very nicely with a bow and hopefully a shutout. Oh boy, for the last time, this is it. Take it all in, everybody. Get a, a snack of preference, a drink of preference, and enjoy yourself. Because I'm hoping to enjoy myself for the final time. I finally get to wrap this all up. I, I haven't exactly been burned out, but it's just been a nice break to step away from a game mode that has not played at all how I envisioned. At least as of late, it just hasn't played that way. We had a good season four. We had a good end of season five. Season six has been anything but. Uh, but I get to look forward to it because at the end of the week, as of the recording date of this anyway, it is finally October. As of the end of the week, blocked and out of play. No, it's not blocked and out of play by the end of the week, although that did just happen. Uh, NHL 24 comes out at the end of this week. Can I just get the sentence in? We keep having things happen. Puck's going out of play. Mitchell Marner. <laughs> Mitchell. Getting in the box. Uh, he does not need a tissue, but how nice of you to offer. See, the fans in Washington, they're so nice. They're always thinking of the opposition. You know, Mitch has had a runny nose all week, so it's been very appropriate. But at the end of the week, NHL 24 finally drops. And... We get to start a brand new series, a new adventure with a new team. Maybe even uh, include a potential player, be a pro, skater, be a pro in the future. Maybe something to look at. Um, I, I've obviously, I very much enjoyed doing the Nashville series. I was going to do something like that with uh, NHL 23, but I just can't get the gameplay to play well, no matter what position I play or what game mode it is that I make a save. So instead, I went back to good old NHL 13, where the game plays much better or much more enjoyable for me personally anyway. And there's also the fact that you can have create a play, which is why is create a play just in general, just not a feature anymore? Why did that leave the game? I mean, it's, it's such a useful it can be a, such a useful little tool. I, that was awkward because the camera was changing. I mean, I'm sure it's not the most used feature in the game, but there are plenty of people besides myself that would definitely appreciate the ability to make plays and tell the AI where to go on said made plays. I mean, if this game, in my opinion, if it needs anything, it, it could really use some help with user-created plays, and we're not going to get a shutout in this game. Don't know what went wrong there. Can't tell you what what went wrong on that play. Oh, the puck did end up in the back of the net. That's what went wrong. The puck ended up in the back of the net. I, 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 having not achieved my objective of a shutout, I think we should just have some fun with the save attempts. Just enjoy the experience. And if we get pulled early, we get pulled early. Who cares? We get an eat early into this series that has been, just been dreadful. I'm really excited to be able to start it up all over again from the junior career or, or if we go to Europe I'll go ahead and pose that question to you now should we play junior or should we go to Europe yeah it's it's this can't this game can't end fast enough already and Kaprizov has hit 48 goals on the year right at season's end I'm gonna donate a couple more probably by the end of the night he'll hit 50 so yeah I mean I get to get drafted all over again personally I prefer the junior career I think it's uh I don't know I just I, I find it fun to start out as a Canadian junior player and then uh, do the draft that way but you can also play in Europe which was a new addition to the game mode a few years back yeah before we dropped this year's uh, or whatever you call it this year's game or uh, this uh, be a pro game mode I put up a channel vote I may do the same uh, but I'm also asking now but I may put up a channel vote ask do we start in junior or do we start in Europe, um, but I do love the draft element of the Be A Pro career mode. God, why am I stuck under the net? You know what? You know what? It's the last game. 
It's the last game of NHL 23. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, son. Uh-oh. There's no turning back from this now. I lost the puck. I lost the puck, and me and Samsonov, for old time's sake, are going to just throw. But I'm in a different jersey this time, boy. Samsonov, you better be kind. Don't get blood all over this nice white Maple Leafs jersey that I get to, I guess, throw in the trash at season's end. Oh, God. I'm going to lose this fight. I'm going to lose this fight. Oh, no. The takedown. Oh, and he buries my head into the ice for good measure. That's not nice. That's not playing very nice. One thing I've learned about this career mode, it's that myself and Samsonov, uh, we don't like each other very much, apparently. <laughs> we have thrown down, I think, three different occasions, this being the third time we have faced off at center ice, and it may not even be the last. It, I don't know if I can do it again. Oh, God, I can't touch that. Uh, well, I was going to try to play the puck. Maybe we should take more penalties so I can play the puck. I do want to see if I can immediately go down and try the same thing again. Listen, I don't have much going for me in this series, in this game, or any of that. So the least you can do is let me try to score a goal. Now, the last time when I tried to shoot it down, and he never shot it. And I don't even know if Simpsonov came out of the net before I could. But do you think I can now? Avoid him. Oh, that's going to go. Oh, we can't. It doesn't work anymore. So there, there's like a, uh, uh, I don't even know what you call call it. It's a, there's a, a limit to how many times you can do it. The word will pop back up in my mind soon enough. Let me play that, please, Morgan Riley. He says, no, you've had enough. Morgan Riley's just looking out for my own. Oh, my God. Kaprizov almost tangled that into the net. What was I thinking? Uh, Morgan Riley's just looking out for my well-being in this game. He said, you had your face caved in once. We can't let that happen again. Your star goalie, who has been anything but a star this season. Oh, empty net for... Uh, it's against us. It's against us. Oh, well... That's that's fun. So now that means I don't get to shoot the puck down the other end of the rink because Washington won't be dumping the puck in on a penalty kill. Oh, all of the hope, all of the glimmer in my eyes is just gone in one season, in one fell swoop. It's just all gone. EA, you know how to kill all of my optimism. You, d you really do. Oh, that's for me. No, it's not. It's not for me. Morgan Riley. Nope, not Morgan Riley this time. We'll find Lynn Blom on the wing. Watching you guys try to pass is... I'd, I'd rather watch paint dry. I really would rather watch paint dry. I think a lot of Leafs fans would also prefer to watch paint dry than watch me attempt to tend the net. So I feel you on that one. Rebound, Sharon Govich. You have open net and you missed it. All of it. Washington's basically killed their own penalty. So good job there. Good going, Washington. Oh, why did I slide out like that? I almost knocked the puck backwards. And that's why you don't pass it through the middle, because your goaltender may go out on a little adventure. I was about to say, this game's getting a little bit boring. I could see some, some shots, some action from the Washington Capitals. A goal would be a really nice start here, guys. It would be a really nice start. Oh, finally. I thought you guys were never going to dump the puck in. Now, everyone stay away from me because I have big plans. Josh Norris, I have big plans. Josh Norris, that's icing. Uh, this is what the series has devolved into. I mean, I can't even... Dr I, I, there is definitely a cooldown effect. That's what I was looking for. There is a cooldown period where you probably can't do that. Or if you do it one time a game, can you do it again? I don't even know how many times in a game you can do it because I've never pushed the limits. This is the game to push the limits. I would like to get a goal... I'm just going to grab this. Don't mind me. I'm just going to grab that. Oh, oh, mercy me. Here. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. <laughs> Look at what I created for Yakala. And then uh, Yakala ruined it. Uh, Washington have caught on to my semantics. <laughs> Didn't take them very long. They realized, oh, if he's going to play it like that, then, uh, then we're going to have to start putting him under pressure. He's going to be like a, a sixth forward out there, or a sixth uh, skater out there. You could put five forwards on the ice. I mean, technically, you can do whatever you want. Now, that wouldn't strike me as at all as a Coach Weber strategy. It wouldn't surprise me. I mean, seriously, Coach Weber, you're not getting any offense. Have you considered putting five forwards on the ice at the same time and maybe even using your goaltender for a little extra attack? Uh, point seven, uh, seven tenths of a second, and that is going to do it for the first period. Now, listen, Coach Weber, I do have a goal. I have that capability in my back pocket. 
And even though I know I'm not wearing any pockets right now, I do have that capability in my back pocket. I also have the ability to catch pucks out of midair. All I'm saying is I can be used. I can be utilized offensively. I am a cheeky little bugger. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, why did we do that? We didn't need the windmill, but we may, uh, they got in their own way on that. I don't know if I get points for style. I just, I hope Shay, or uh, Shay. Goodness gracious, Coach Weber. Maybe it is Shea Weber. He has retired. Coach Weber is your first name. Does your first name start with an S? Oh, what? <laughs> Konechny ended up in the net. The puck didn't. Style points or not, you cannot deny my fanaticism with making good saves right now. Oh, just Morgan Riley coming to save the day again, looking out for his goaltender's well-being. So I was on the verge of making a brilliant save, and Morgan Riley had to come to the rescue and ruin it for me and for the fans of this channel. Do you hear that, Morgan Riley? The fans of the channel, they all hate you. Uh, they have told me so in the comments section. Oh, God. Is this a breakaway for Tom Wilson? It will not be. We do get D back. Oh, this is for me. This is for me. It's not for me. It might be for me. Oh, I should stay away from this. This'll, this will be a penalty for me playing it behind the goal line outside of the trapezoid. And we did experience that in the last game. We experienced it in the last game because the game just screwed me over. It didn't think I should have any fun. That's the number one rule of the, of the NHL series. Don't have any fun. You're not allowed. Can't tell Sharon Govich that, though. He's got this game within one goal, a one goal reach. I think it's only fair that I get another shot at Samsonov. I deserve to, to throw some equal punches at Ilya Samsonov's face. Oh my, what? Sharon Govich, okay, this guy is having fun. Maybe a little bit too much. That kid gets a hat trick and we win this game simply on his back. After the game, everyone has to, you know, pitch in and, and, and pay for dinner <laughs> and, and make sure Sharon Govich does not pay a cent for dinner. I can't believe I didn't give up a goal on that play. Oh my goodness, goal again for Pierre-Luc Dubois, Dubois. So PLD pitching in, and maybe he won't have to pay for dinner either. Three goals in a row for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, clearly, I have gotten him off of his game. Samsonov is down there in the crease thinking about the next battle that he will have to do with me at center ice. It's coming. It's only going to happen if, if uh, Washington will dump it behind the net here. Okay, I could have gone and got that. This game is starting to become a little bit too much of an adventure. Oh, that's not for me. That's... Get back in the crease. Oh, no, it went in. Oh, why? I totally pressed the wrong button. I forgot that square is a desperation save and not a flying poke check. Oh, well, that's just the way that it goes sometimes, I guess. No, I just got to focus on not giving up more than three goals in the game. That's an accomplishment for me at this point. I mean, we, we've given up one breakaway. We almost had a near breakaway given up to Tom Wilson not that long ago in this period. I don't know, I don't know, Leafs, get it together in neutral ice. Tom Wilson with a surprising little blinder from outside. I wasn't expecting that shot. It's a bad turnover. Save, though. I got it taken care of. I was hoping to just come in here and relax, knowing it's the last game. There's, I mean, there, I'm still relaxed. There's not a whole lot of anything riding on the line. Initially, there was. There was a potential chance of a shutout. That's, of course, been ruined about three times now. Is there a hack where I can race three goals off the board for the Washington Capitals? Can I do that by skating it up to the blue line? All oh, these guys have caught on. Do you think? No. Oh, I better get back. <laughs> oh, it's not working anymore. I don't know that there is a cooldown period on goalie fights. So I may be screwed. If I go out and I adventure out too far, I may be screwed. I'm wondering on a serious note, can I skate it to the red line? Or what's, what's going to happen? If I skate this to the red line, okay? Oh, God. Well, see, the game doesn't even want me to try and skate it to the red line. I see what you're up to. Listen, I just want to find something out. If I skate the puck up to the red line, can I? will it draw Samsonov into a goalie fight? And will it be too late? I, I skated it to the blue line, assuming he would come out of the net. And, of course, I mean, that never happened. Konechny, you're a coward for not dumping the puck in there. You really are a, a genuine certified coward. I'm on the puck. I really am on the puck. See, I told you, every now and then, uh, every one in ten attempts, uh, that stack the pads move works. All right, Samsonov, are you ready to show down and throw down in front of that Ca Washington Capitals logo at center ice? 
I th- have all of our fights been in Capital One Arena? I think every fight I've had against Ilya Samsonov has been in this building. And uh, in fact, the previous, one of the most recent fights with him that I remember before this game was against the Capitals while wearing the reverse retro jerseys. So there's something to that. So after this video, of course, we're going to get to season's end. I'll skip forward to the summer break, see who ends up winning Lord Stanley's prize after, of course, the Hurricanes couldn't defend it. And I was not able to pull off becoming a back-to-back Stanley Cup champion either in this universe. All right, this is good. Washington's going to go to a penalty kill. And you know what this means. So the game is tied. So Washington, they would have no reason to even attempt to go for it shorthanded, would they? They would want to clear the puck. Uh, although Sharon Govich is out there and he's been hunting for the hat trick. Oh my goodness. He just rang the post. That was Sharon Govich. He just rang the post. Oh, I please, please. I just want the puck. All I'm trying to find out are two things. Well, I guess three. And one of them is, can I skate to the red line? If, uh, if Samsonov doesn't come out. If I do skate out there, does Samsonov come out? Is there a cool down period? Is there, oh, wait, that's mine. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. It looks like they backed off. So they're chilling out. Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay. So next time, oh, they're going to skate it in because they see that I'm not in the net. Boom. Back in time. No problem. Oh, I'm going to help out. I'm going to help out. Oh, I'm not going to help out. I'm going to Get back in my crease where I belong. We got 22 seconds, so Washington needs to win this. Send it down the rink. Yes. Where's the puck? Oh, it's right here. Okay, so leave it alone. I got this. Oh, my God. I, if my goalie doesn't freaking handle the puck behind the net on the dump out. Well, you guys are going to need to take another penalty. Uh, yeah, I'm still in free skate mode, aren't I? Uh, oh, never mind. They dumped it in, and I should have been in free skate mode. I'm not going to get any luck with playing the puck for the rest of the game, am I? What I loved about them having to kill that penalty and playing the puck is because they were killing a penalty, they didn't touch me. They were taking it pretty easy. I mean, there is the chance that they'll still dump the puck and I'm in free skate. Got the rebound. There we go. I mean, there's also the chance that they'll dump the puck in so they don't have to be shorthanded. It's just easier and a lot more likely if they are shorthanded. So Washington, you need to take some penalties and put the lease on the power play. That would also help us with trying to win the game, which would be nice. I'm going to see a shot, or I'm not going to see a shot. You just dumped it in off your teammate, but it's Sharon Govich who has had immaculate touch on the puck tonight. Connecting, you're going up against a beast in Morgan Riley. You should have just dumped the puck in, and like Sharon Govich just did. Unfortunately, Sharon Govich dumped in the puck in, man. You can go out there and get that Hattie. That was a good pass. to find Yakla, who amazingly missed... The broken stick laying on the ice. Back door. What a good save by Samsonov. That keeps the game tied. Will we see a dump in? No, still no dump in for the Capitals. Konechny losing it. And it will go back to Lindblom. At center, Lindblom, no dump in there. Oh, it's on me not to make a mistake here. Save, rebound, and I got the cover. No mistakes happening. Are my immaculate goaltending skills returning? I'm starting to return to form at the end of this game in this third period. Try to get one last victory for the NHL 23 Be a Pro Series. That's got to be the main objective now. Try to get a victory. This game looks like it could be certainly headed to overtime. None of that is sealed yet. Yeah, it hasn't been decided whether this game will see overtime. I'm on top of the rebound. And I haven't even had a chance to play the puck. Because they're spending a lot of time in the attacking zone. They're not dumping it in. They're choosing to carry it over the blue line. Getting close to two to go now in the third in regulation. You know how hectic three on three overtime is going to get if we get to that point. Dumped in by Wilson. Oh, mercy me. So let's see if they put the pressure on. See if they put the... I have to, I have to hand it over. They're offside. That's a break. That's a break. Oh, I don't want to lose this game like that. I really don't want to lose this game like that. It's going to go back to Jersey. Oh, where's the puck? Where's the puck? <laughs> Get up, dude. No. Oh, he gets blocked out to a point. And Anderson to Dvorak. Back to Anderson. Oh, my goodness. That was the sequence of a lifetime. Bad turnover to Lindholm. He dishes it off. Back to Anderson. We can't even take a breath for five seconds. What even happened? Dursey from the point. Save off the blocker. Got to watch that rebound control, bud. 
it falls right to both Lindholm and Wilson in a scrum for the puck. And this little move right here, uh, I got it hits. It's right there underneath the hip. And then we just kind of, <laughs> God, whatever that is, rolling around. Then we lay on it. And then it somehow it got jarred free. It got whacked free in all of this chaos. Who whacked it free? Was it me? I think it was me. I think it was my, I think it was my, yeah, I kick it free. And then I'm, God, doing whatever nonsense I'm doing there. Lindholm could have just wrapped it into the open cage because I'm way out of position. Centering feed. Brilliant stick, Nizov. You just prevented a goal. You really did. You just saved the game. And I've just realized there's a delayed penalty on Washington. So I'm free to skate the center toward the bench. And this means Washington will have to clear the puck down the ice. If this game doesn't end here in regulation, they will be shorthanded through the overtime period. That's big. I hope you put Sharon Govich out there. This guy has a magic touch tonight. Hopefully I don't have to break out any more spectacular saves, but you guys enjoy that, don't you? This whole team. Oh, delayed penalty again against Washington. What a time to take two penalties back to back as we are winding down regulation and approaching three on three overtime. Of course, we're not there yet. But do you think... Do you think the absolute mad genius that is myself? Oh, okay, I'm just going to handle that center. Oh, what? A, okay, I was trying to shoot it, but that never happened. So we have basically confirmed that you can only do that one time in a game. So once per game, you can only do that. Draw the other goaltender out. So that means I can't get the game-winning goal in this game. I'm going to leave that up to one of the players on the power play. We're on a five-on-three power play in overtime, so... I mean, uh, there's no reason we can't win this right here. Just come away victorious, and we will. Thank you, PLD. And, and PLD is not paying for dinner on the road, that's for sure, for the rest of the, of the road trip, which is basically, I don't even know if it, there's, and there isn't a road trip. The next game's at home, but when we go back to Toronto, he's not paying for dinner, which is very nice, because I'm sure dinner is very expensive in Toronto. And we will celebrate our final win of the Be A Pro Series for NHL 23, the final game. Final game is a Leaf, final game of the series as a whole. Well, that's it. Final game of the Be A Pro Series. I don't have to put up with Coach Weber's terrible choices in line score anymore. Well, we should just sim this out, figure out uh, what remains. Oh, we have to go back to Washington. God, uh, God forbid me play that game. If they give me the start in that game, I don't care. I'm not... I'm not playing that game out. Uh, we make one more trip right back to Washington. Go home and fly back to Washington. What a genius scheduling that was. Could have just played two games in a row. In the you would give me the start in that game. <laughs> they would give me the start in this one. Is this the last game? The season finale? This is it. So uh, Coach Weber just wanted to put me out there to enjoy the torture one more time. Oh, not even a full week later. This is it. The season finale. And the Hurricanes. Wow. They were not even a playoff team. They end up finishing first in the Metro without me. If they win the Stanley Cup, I'm going to be pissed. And did the Oilers, did they, they made it. Oilers have made it again. We might get another Stanley Cup final rematch there between the Oilers and Hurricanes. I wouldn't be involved in it, of course, as we finished dead last in the Atlantic Division. So let's just sim out what remains of the Be A Pro season right here. The last game of the career mode how do we sim the period so oh sim period there we go sim the first period and yakula scores on samsonov does uh, sharon govich score on samsonov oh kaprizov gets to me but already doing wave oh, from from that far out near the boards you get scored on like that and the third period do we shut it out no oh we have an absolute calamity in the third period four to one victory that's an empty net goal for sonny milano uh, so not doing much better than I do when I play the game myself. And there you have it. The Stanley Cup champions at the end of season six are the Calgary Flames. So the Calgary Flames winning their first Stanley Cup since 1989, 1989, their second all time Stanley Cup championship. The Coachella Valley Firebirds winning the Calder Cup. Who did the Flames beat in the Stanley Cup final? They won, of course, against. Uh, how do you find it? Is it? Is it? Do I just go this way? Yeah, Presidents Trophy. Okay, the Canadians winning the Presidents. 
The Flames winning the clearance as Campbell Bowl, so there's a bit of drama here. The big reveal, they beat the Buffalo Sabres. So the Sabres winning the Prince of Wales trophy. Not sure who they uh, defeated to get there. I don't know how far the Hurricanes went, but clearly uh, two new combatants for the Stanley Cup the, with the previous two years being the Hurricanes and the Oilers, as you see here. Another Alberta-based team gets it done and they win not only do they make the final but they win the stanley cup look at that look at the playoff tree just to see who did what oh carolina going out in round one so long so sorry that's what happens when you don't have me there and same with the edmonton oilers they actually the battle of alberta in round one goes to seven games and the uh not the defending cup champions but the defending western conference champions out in round one to their Alberta-based rival, the Calgary Flames, who, of course, went on to win the Stanley Cup. They go on to play L.A. in an intense seven-game series, defeat Winnipeg in an intense six-game series, and win the Cup in six. So they had quite the gauntlet to get Lord Stanley. And on the other side of things, Buffalo winning in six over Ottawa, in five over Washington, in six over Philly, and then dropping it in six to the Flames. Ooh, and our leading point scorer, Mitch Marner, with just 75 points in 82 games. Not good enough. Not good enough. And a look at what the Hurricanes did. Not much more impressive, to be honest. And look at their whole lineup and who did what for the Carolina Hurricanes in season six, my first season. Not with the team. What did Alex Nedeljkovic do? He had a 66 game play season and a 906 save percentage at the end of it all. Any shutouts? I don't know where... Did I already skip that? I think I've already gone past it. He had four of them. And he had 33 wins, 23 losses, five overtime losses. And then, of course, my final stat line on the season, 33 games played, 11 wins, 16 losses, one shutout. So we did get a shutout in the sim. And a just awful stat line to end season six. And we'll look, of course, at... The career totals, we ended as a 96 overall elite goaltender with those attributes as a butterfly goaltender. That was the difference that we went with this year as a butterfly style goaltender. Uh, full career stats, that's right. You have to press X. And here's the full career stats at the bottom of the screen, the very bottom NHL totals. And you can look at what we did in each season. Going back to the first one with Carolina, we ended with an average of an 874. So still can't quite crack that 900 in fact we never cracked 900 as a goaltender except season four we were very close in season four you see it right here 2025 2026 season four was the best season we had as a goalie season five of course we simmed out so that's why the numbers are a little bit better but yeah we just had a phenomenal season four made the final the stanley cup final and uh lost in the final that year well, I want to thank everybody for tuning into this series the whole year and uh, just being supportive of the channel in general. I look forward to doing more and getting, getting right back to work in a week on the new game with a new series, bringing you another goalie series where we're going to try our hardest to actually be good uh, from the very get-go. Of course, it's very difficult. I do want you to keep in mind it's very difficult uh, the first couple of seasons because you're just trying to build yourself up uh, and they don't send you down to the AHL to develop. So uh, I'm looking forward to that fun all over again. There's just uh, a whole lot of excitement when it comes around to a new game cycle, even if uh, not, it, it seems like not a whole lot changes. Uh, it's always fun to get a new career mode started.